Good morning everybody and welcome back. Grab yourselves your favourite drink and we're going to dive right in to everything that I've picked up from Primark. It's not very often that I go into Primark and have a big shop to be honest with you. I like to keep my spending to a minimum on things that I don't necessarily need <laughs> and I think that's the best thing that we can all do for the environment because we all just have far too much stuff but I really needed to pick up some bits and pieces for the spring summer particularly for holidays so I've got a few little holiday bits I found some beautiful home bits as well and I also have some staples which I've been looking for for so long staples staple pieces for my wardrobe that I've been looking for for so long and I know if I look after them well they will last a long long time so let's dive in so everything's a little bit messed up at the moment so I'm going to organize it and then um, I can go through it in sections of what I picked up. I have a few items here hung up in front of me and we're going to start with the clothing that I picked up and the thing that I'm most excited about within this whole haul is this gorgeous blazer that I picked up. I feel like for the longest time I have been trying to find the perfect chocolatey brown blazer and I am so pleased with this. It's long line, which I love, and it's an oversized fit. So the camera doesn't really do the color justice, actually, to be honest with you. It looks more like a purpley brown on camera from what I can see. But it's actually a really nice dark chocolatey brown. We've got the little pocket detail at the top here and in the sides. I don't think there's any inside. No, none inside. Um, as I said, it's long line and oversized. So I find that stuff that's oversized just tends to drown me a lot of the time. So I got this in a size 4 and that still gives me an oversized fit. This was £27 and the quality of it is just so good. It's lined which oftentimes when I've got blazers from Primark in the past they haven't been. Um, but I'm just obsessed with this. The quality is literally like something you'd get in river island or zara so i'm really pleased with that and i know this is going to last in my wardrobe for a long long time i haven't worn it yet as you can see but i cannot wait to i am obsessed with it and whilst i found that one i actually found another blazer which was very similar um but in more of a nudie beige kind of color again i'm obsessed with this and i have actually worn this one a couple of times now i think I love the little button detail down the front. These buttons are, I thought they were dark brown, but they're actually black. Um, and we've got, again, little pockets here, a little pocket at the top, lovely like collar detail. And again, this is really, really good quality. We've got a nice lining inside. You would not think this was a Primark blazer and it's just such good quality i know it's going to last such a long time it's long line again and oversized so i think i got this one in a size four as well yeah in a size four and i think it was the same price so 27 pounds and for a good quality blazer i think that is just such such a bargain so moving on to the next thing i picked up in clothing was this gilet it's open because i have worn it this is an oversized gilet so what size did i get in this one extra small and i still find that it is slightly too oversized for me um but it's absolutely fine and i love it it's really lightweight i think it said on the label um that it's got like a feather feathers inside so it's really lovely and cozy and warm um, for the nice spring days that are a little bit chilly but not too cold um, lovely pocket details here and a black zip with a little hood on the on the back so yeah I love this colour I love it. it's kind of like a creamy beigey creamy colour um, and yeah I've wanted a gilet for ages so I was glad to finally pick one up um, as I said this was in an extra small so you can see how oversized it actually is um, and this was £20. So the next clothing item that I picked up was actually this gorgeous 
sagey khaki it's kind of a mix between sage and khaki green summer dress it's so cute and floaty very lightweight with these gorgeous puffy detail sleeves and a wide neck i really love this i think it's going to be so cute in the summer with some some little sandals or on holiday um and also with the bag that i picked up i think this will be really cute so i'll show you that in a second um, but yeah, I just thought this was a really nice simple dress that you can put on in the morning and feel really nice and dressed up. Um, this I got in an extra small and this was £12 and this is actually made from 50% recycled polyester, which I love. I love that Primark do um, their like recycled, more eco-friendly ranges now. I really love that. Um, and again, the quality of this is really nice. It's kind of got not like a waffle look detail but kind of <laughs> kind of like a waffle fabric um to it and it's just yeah really lightweight and i think it will be gorgeous on holiday and for work in the summer so love that as i said i did pick up a really cute beach bag so this is absolutely gorgeous I love it it's like that rattan sort of style um really big so it's ideal as a beach bag and the handles are like a faux brown leather it's got a gold zip and it opens up to a really really big space so you can put your towel your sandals in there your book to head to the beach which I'm so excited about and you've got a little compartment there as well for your phone and things I just thought that this was really handy because every time me and Ollie go on holiday, he just loads up a backpack and normally a carrier bag and we take that to the beach and it would just be so nice to have my own my own beach bag. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I believe that was £10. I will just check. £9, even better than I thought. <laughs> and as I said, I thought that this bag would be so nice paired with this this dress how cute and some little brown sandals or something um to head to the beach love it next i in clo clothing wise the next thing i picked up was a bikini i really love this color it's almost like a teal turquoisey sort of color i don't think the camera's going to do it justice because it seems to look very blue on camera from where I am um, but I love this it's padded and you've got adjustable straps on the back which if you're anything like me I always need adjustable straps because they're always too long um, and yeah it just doesn't sit right so that's really handy and then we've got a clasp on the back it's just such a gorgeous colour um, and I think this will be really flattering on it comes with high waisted bottoms so normally on holiday i wouldn't wear like a high-waisted um bottom with a bikini but i would wear something like this for a spa day so um at the moment i have a black one which is pretty much very similar to this set um with the high-waisted bottoms but i've had it for such a long time and it's starting to look very old now so i really needed a new set and i spotted this and thought i love that I definitely need that for at least my spa days potentially on holiday as well um, but yeah it's absolutely gorgeous it's such a soft fabric and also I don't know about you but I always find with bottoms bikini bottoms sometimes the elastic in them can be really strong and I find them really uncomfortable and it kind of digs into my skin at the sides because I have quite wide hips um, so I really don't like bottoms that have a very tight waistband. These ones, it's so soft. And because it's going to sit higher, because it's high-waisted as well, I think it will be extra comfortable because of that. Um, but yeah, these are super stretchy. The elastic isn't too tough, I suppose the word is. Um, so I think these are going to be really, really comfortable to wear, which is something that's so important to me with bikinis, because I cannot stand an uncomfortable bikini. Um, I wasn't sure what size bottoms I'd need. I think these size small will probably be absolutely fine. 
um, but I did pick up a medium just in case because I would rather a bikini bottom is slightly too loose than slightly too tight so we'll see how I go um, hopefully they'll both fit okay and I can make use out of them both um, but the bottoms were only four pounds I got these in a size small and the top was five pounds and I got that in a size small as well so an absolute bargain really for a bikini set um yeah absolutely chuffed with that last but not least in the category of clothing and holiday stuff I picked up these black sandals I actually had these exact same ones last year um, oh my goodness, you wouldn't think it, but they are so comfortable to wear. Um, they didn't last very well, that's the only downside. I remember I pretty much wore these to death <laughs> last summer, and I had to throw them away before the end of summer because I think it was the seam along here started to lift off um, and come away. So hopefully these will last me a bit longer. Um, but for £6, which is what these are, I'm a size 3, super baby feet. Um, for £6, you can't really go wrong if they're going to last you most of the summer. And I'm going to try not to wear these to work this year and save them for things like the beach. Um, because that's one thing I'm missing, some beach sandals. So these were very much so needed. Um, and yeah, as I say, they're really comfortable. The fabric on here is like a stretchy... A stretchy fabric um, it's not like plastic or anything so I find that's a lot better um, in preventing the shoes rubbing and things so so yeah they're really really comfortable and this is just like a rubber um, and yeah I didn't find last year anyway that these particular sandals rubbed my feet or made my feet sore in any way so I would definitely recommend those um, that's it I think for the clothing side of things so I'm going to grab my other bag because I did have two bags of stuff this time um, we're going to go through homeware bits which I'm so excited about because home new homeware stuff is like my favorite thing right now um, I don't know why but I'm just obsessed with new homeware stuff and I need to rein myself in so I don't go buying far too much of it. Okay, bag number two, here we go. So, oh my goodness, I nearly just broke one of my vases. Not a good start. So, firstly, I picked up this very cute vase. I love the detailing on this. Ollie thinks that it looks very grannified and old fashioned. <laughs> But actually we need to do the little like finishing touches in our living area our living room transformation slash slash renovation video will be coming very soon and the last things that I need to do are these little bits and bobs like cute little vases and decorating things really pretty and I just thought that this vase was gorgeous it was also reduced to three pounds so I plan on putting this somewhere in the living room probably with some pampas in and I think it's just super cute for three pounds you really can't go you really cannot go wrong can you really next thing that I picked up was another vase I'm gonna have this one in the dressing room on the window um, I just could not leave this behind it's absolutely beautiful um, it looks quite a lot lighter um, than it is in reality on camera but it's this beautiful beigey greyy colour um, and obviously with these little bits of detailing down them I just thought this was so nice I think I'm just going to leave this on the windowsill in the dressing room um, with nothing in it um, otherwise probably it will be pampas but this vase was £6 and I just think how beautiful if you love kind of neutral vibes I've never picked these up before but I was walking past them and I was just like oh my goodness what is that smell it smells divine and it was these cedarwood and vanilla scented room sachets I've never bought these from um, Primark before but I thought you know what these smell really nice and these sorts of things are great to put into your clothing drawers so I think I'm just going to put them in there and see if it keeps things nice and fresh it would be so nice to open the drawers and just smell the scent of this because it is a beautiful scent these were only one pound so I thought it's worth a try you haven't got anything to lose but yeah 
Oh, honestly, it smells amazing. If you haven't smelt these before in Primark, go and have a sniff because honestly, I just love that scent. Now, I am absolutely in love with this beautiful picnic blanket. As you can see, I haven't got it out yet, but we actually saw this um, picnic blanket whilst we were away and Ollie told me that we didn't need another picnic blanket because we already have one it's not a very nice one and <laughs> he told me we don't need one leave it behind so I left it behind and I couldn't stop thinking about it for days and days so when I went into our local Primark I was on the hunt for this because I really, really wanted it and couldn't stop thinking about it. I just think this is going to be so nice in the summer to lay out on the lawn and have a cute little picnic together. Or if we go out for the day, go and have a picnic in the woods. It will just be so nice to take this with us. And yeah, it's just beautiful. As I said, I haven't got it out yet. So I don't know how big it is. I haven't, I don't think it says. Oh yeah, it does actually say. 135 centimeters by 150 centimeters that doesn't really mean much to me but i think that's quite big isn't it so um yeah i can see though that the bottom of it is if i can get enough out to show you the bottom is like a waterproof bottom um to it so it's not going to get ruined on the grass or anything um but i just love it it's this gorgeous beigey brown um, colour with this gorgeous like pattern detail on it and it feels like really good quality as well so yeah I am excited for picnics in the summer this year um yeah I'm just all about walks in the woods and picnics that's all I want in life that's me happy job done <laughs> so that is everything that I picked up from Primark recently I have never done a haul that big before on my channel. In fact, this is the first Primark haul I've ever done. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like my videos, please do give them a thumbs up and to support the channel by subscribing. It would mean the absolute world to Ollie and I. And thank you so much for being here as always. And I will see you in my next video. Have the most wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.